Hey there YouTube, Super Brain AK here. And well, I'm getting close to being done with my uh all of the ICR 26Ds from uh Samsung. I've just got let's see five packs left. We got four there that still have their balance boards and then one there. And then I've got, let's see, that's a pack. There's three, and that, that, and a couple on the charger. So these are charging them up at one amp. And these are charging the ones uh, for storage. Well, they're, they're set to 4.2, just so I can have them all charged. I'm not really worried. And this charger's not running yet, because, well, need to charge and yep figured I'd give you guys a quick update I've got a 12 volts here coming from the uh, this stuff down there just runs through and I've got another 12 volts here for the uh, DC load and then I've got a 19 volts here coming from a Dell power supply. So, yep, that's working pretty well. I am, do still need to order one because, well, one of them's bad and I, you know, requested a new one. Even though it was, well, that was a long time ago, so I don't think I will be getting it. Anyway, that's the update on the 18650s. Now, how about my BC700? Well, I was, you know, messing around with triple A's of all things. And, well, you can see this guy here, which is my 12 volt to 3 volt converter, because the BC700 only runs on 3 volts. Well, this is the back cover to this. It's all potted and everything, but you can kind of see... It's all gooey there, and you can see the crack, maybe? Right into there? Yep. This guy has given up the ghost and smells really, really bad. So, unfortunately, that also, oh, for heat ticks, um, got the original power supply for the BC700. We'll go ahead and plug that in. And, well, nothing happens. So, I've got to take it apart here. Pull that apart, and you can see the... Here's the CPU there, which is getting pretty toasty. Yep. So it's cooked. Must have sent when this this died. Must have sent 12 volts straight to the CPU. CPU doesn't have any other regulation, which is retarded. Yeah, that's number one design flaw. Never run your device your microcontroller directly from an external power supply makes it very sensitive but anyway this is what the BC700 looks like and the reason why um, this thing failed is because well if I pull this apart uh, let's look for the other side well you don't see any inductors so what it's doing is it's using pulse width through, you know, one of the set of these uh, MOSFETs directly from 3 volts. So it's charging nickel metal hydride single single pairs or single single cells directly from 3 volts. So, well, that's kind of double or triple the voltage depending on what state of charge it is. So, very high current spikes and well, this guy just couldn't handle it for very long. 
So, BC700's toast. I still have my LII260 Lido Kala one. Still have this guy. So we can at least do some drawer pull 18650s. And that one I'm going to be using to uh, test that pack I was going to do in the vacuum changer, vacuum chamber. So I've got one cycle on them already. So I'm going to wait a little while. I'm going to do a second and a third cycle. Then I'm going to vacuum them down and do three cycles like that. So anyway, um. So, I'm going to need a nickel metal hydride charger. So, what I'm going to do is, when it's on sale, buy the SkyRC MC3000, which is the huge, well, high power, well, high quality, super technical, um, syndrical universal charger. You can set different profiles and whatnot. And I'm going to be getting the new version um, that has two fans, so we can take a look at that, see if it's any better. Um, yeah, I would buy the old one, but eh, I figured I might as well get the better improved version because they're liquidating the old, old one uh, for like $100 on Amazon right now. But anyway, figured I'd get the better one, just so we can kind of do a review. And then I've got uh, this guy here. He's a little, you know, hangy, hanging clip light with, uh, you know, three LEDs in the front and eight LEDs right there, which is super bright. Ow. Uh, so what I did as well... Let's see, you got a little USB port, and well, it no longer runs off AAAs anymore. Got some uh, 1150 milliamp hour jetpack packs. There are actually two in here. Not sure how well you can see that. Hopefully, focus it down on there. There we go. So I replaced the tiny resistor there with this guy. This is, what, 22 or 220 ohms? Actually, 22. Because these were pulling a lot more current than they should be. They were, it draws like 600 milliamps from 3.7 volts, so I had to increase it a little bit because these have no heat sinking. It's just a, you know, standard thin board. So anyway, I've got those directly wired up, the two cells in series in parallel, and then I've got a TP4056 with a diode. Maybe you can see that in there. Just because um, this is going to be sitting around for a long time, so I don't want the cells to drain if they don't need to. And it TP4056 charges up to 3.8 volts anyway, so. Should be fine for what I want it to do. But yeah, it's pretty bright like that and super bright like that. Ow. So yeah, I think that's it for the updates. Almost done with my 2060s and yeah. Not sure what other projects I can get myself into, but thinking about making some sort of um, power supply for the breath bathroom lights. So I've got these Amazon Basics. There, you're out of focus. You're completely out of focus. Jeez. I've got these uh, Amazon Basics LED lights in the, the bathroom. So I'm going to make some sort of dimming power supply. That way I don't have to use the switch that turns the light and the fan on. So, anyway, I think I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.
check out any of my other videos in case you're interested. Bye.